Billy just journey lesser known facts revealed. Are you ready to embark on a remarkable journey through the life of a man whose name signifies the Lord is my God? Your religious story is not just an ancient tale, but a timeless testament to faith, courage, and divine intervention. Join us as we dive deep into the lesser known facets of his extraordinary life and discover how his story remains profoundly relevant today. From moments of despair to miraculous acts and unwavering faith, Elijah's life is a source of inspiration and guidance for us all. Who is Elijah and why is his Bible story still relevant today? Elijah, the name that means the Lord is my God and his life's message, epitomized this name continuing to resonate today. His presence just and confined to the Old Testament references to him also scattered throughout the New Testament. Who was Elijah and what made him so remarkable? Yet to explore 12 traits of Elijah and see how this man of faith continues to inspire us today. Elijah struggled with depression. At a moment of despair, Elijah sat beneath a solitary broom tree and prayed for his own death, saying, I've had enough, Lord. Take my life, for I am no better than my ancestors who have already died. Depression can often be triggered by life's trials and can weigh heavily on an individual. The Bible acknowledges the struggles of people who experience this condition even while being devoted to God. These individuals, like Elijah, faced these trials not because of their sins, but because they were human and susceptible to life's pressures. Elijah's encounter with depression occurred right after a significant triumph in his life. Elijah raised the dead. In a time of drought and water scarcity, God directed Elijah to a destitute widow. If she had very little for herself and her child, she generously shared her meager resources with him. In return, Elijah assured her that her jar of flour and jug of oil would not run dry. Elijah's faith in God's provision not only sustained the widow and her family, but also revealed his unique connection with the divine. Elijah's miracle of resurrecting a child. Elijah's remarkable story includes the miracle of resurrecting a child. The son of the widow who hosted him became gravely ill, to the point where he stopped breathing. The distraught widow confronted Elijah, questioning why he had come and seemingly brought misfortune upon her. Elijah and the asked her to hand over her son. He took the lifeless child to the upper room where he resided and laid the boy on his bed. With unwavering faith, Elijah cried out to the Lord, pleading for the boy's life to return. After stretching himself over the boy three times and calling upon the Lord, the child was revived. Elijah then brought the child back to his mother, demonstrating God's divine intervention. The widow recognized Elijah as a true man of God, acknowledging the truth of the word of the Lord in his mouth. Elijah's confrontation with an evil king and divine permission by ravens. Elijah's journey begins in 1 Kings 17 when he confronts the wicked king Ahab. He foretells a drought, leading God to instruct him to hide in the Carrots Ravine, east of the Jordan River. Here he miraculously sustains himself with water from the brook and daily provisions supplied by ravens. This experience underscores how God uses ordinary individuals to accomplish extraordinary deeds. Elijah, like many biblical prophets, did not seek the role, but accepted it when called upon. His faith remained unshaken even in the face of a menacing king. Elijah, the man who listened to God. Elijah was a man known for his attentive ear to the Almighty. Throughout the accounts in 1 Kings 17 to 22 and then 2 Kings 1 and 2, we see Elijah listening intently to the voice of God, ever receptive to divine guidance. For example, when the word of the Lord came to him, he was instructed to go eastward and take refuge by the brute sheriff, east of the Jordan. Later, he found himself in a cave where he heard the word of the Lord asking him, What are you doing here, Elijah? Elijah's ascension to heaven. Elijah's earthly journey came to a remarkable conclusion. As he crossed the Jordan River alongside his student and successor Elisha, he struck the waters with his cloak parting them, and a blazing column by fiery horses appeared between them as they conversed. In a breathtaking moment, Elijah was carried up to heaven in a whirlwind, as the story unfolds, Elijah initially urged Elisha to stay behind. But Elisha was unwavering, insisting, as surely as the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. They continued their journey together from Gilgal to Bethel, and then to Jericho, all being aware that the Lord would take Elijah away that day. Elijah's ascension marked a profound and divine transition. Elijah, the man of obedience. Elijah consistently demonstrated unwavering obedience to God's will. He fearlessly delivered challenging messages, trusted in God's provision, 
even in the face of dire circumstances and stood resolute in his faith that God's promises would be fulfilled. Time and time again Elijah exemplified devoted obedience to God, our Heavenly Father. As we read in the scriptures, he followed God's word, living by the brook, Harith and later journeyed to Zarephath as directed. Elijah, the recipient of God's provision. Elijah experienced the miraculous provision of God, where divine promises, one, teeds. There are several multiple instances of God's extraordinary provision for Elijah. At a time of drought, a small amount of flour and a few drops of oil miraculously multiplied to provide sustenance. Elijah received supernatural strength, allowing him to outrun a chariot, displaying energy beyond human capabilities. While on Mount Carmel, Elijah heard the sound of heavy rain and manifestation of God's promise despite initial signs to the contrary. Elijah's obedience and faith in God's provision were rewarded time and again. Elijah, the bold and fronter of evil. Elijah's courageous stand against evil is a testament to his unwavering commitment to God. He was unafraid to challenge the idolatrous practices of the people and confront the prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel, displaying unparalleled boldness and faith in the one true God. This fearless act showcased Elijah's dedication to preserving the worship of the Lord and his unwavering trust in divine power. Elijah, the resurrector of the dead. Elijah performed a remarkable act of resurrecting a young boy. When the widow's son fell gravely ill and ceased breathing, Elijah took the child to an upper room and fervently prayed to God. Through his faith in God's response, the boy's life was restored a testament to Elijah's profound connection with the Almighty. Elijah, the harbinger of rain. Elijah was chosen by God to proclaim the end of a severe drought that had plagued the land of Israel for three years. His unwavering faith and obedience led to the fulfillment of God's promise as he prayed for rain and it was granted. Elijah's ascension to heaven. Elijah's earthly journey concluded in a miraculous and awe-inspiring manner. As he walked alongside his successor Elisha, a chariot of fire drawn by fiery horses appeared and a whirlwind carried Elijah up to heaven. His departure marked a profound transition in his ministry. Elijah's life filled with faith in e and God's miraculous provision continues to inspire and guide us today. His unwavering commitment to the Almighty and his unwavering boldness in confronting evil remain a testament to the power of faith and trust in God's promises. Elijah the Prayer Warrior Throughout the Old Testament, we find Elijah in deep communion with God, serving as a model for us in our own spiritual journey. He encourages us to embrace prayer and become warriors of faith. His life stands as a testament to recognizing the Lord as God and following His divine path. Elijah, a human being just like us, earnestly prayed, and it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. Elijah, the brave messenger. Elijah championed a simple yet powerful message, but not everyone was willing to hear it. At the forefront of those resistant to God's message sought out and executed his prophets. King Ape, her husband, continued to worship by despite the unfavorable message. Elijah's boldness never wavered, and he valiantly stood for the Almighty and the divine messages from above, even when they contained difficult corrections or unwelcome news for the recipients. His resolute response was, as I go tell your Lord, the Lord is here. Elijah, the hater and non fronter of evil, Jezebel persuaded her husband, King Ahab, to abandon the worship of God and instead embrace the worship of Baal. In the eyes of the Lord, our disobedience was a grievous sin. Elijah courageously emerged as the instrument of God's rebuke, accountability and warning to those who had turned away from the Almighty. He boldly championed faith in God, confronting Ahab and later challenging the followers of Baal with a water-soaked offering and a fire, all vividly depicted in 1 Kings 18. Close word to be clear, I have not troubled Israel, but you and your father's house have them, and you have forsaken Yahweh's commandments. Elijah, the expectant believer in miracles. Elijah's life was marked by the expectation of miracles as he wholeheartedly believed in God's faithfulness. His journey was characterized by miraculous occurrences that underscored his unwavering faith. As witnessed in the showdown on Mount Carmel, he prepared a bull offering soaked in water, enough to overflow and fill the surrounding trench. Despite this apparent impossibility, it did not hinder God's divine intervention. Elijah's life serves as a remarkable example of steadfast faith and yielding obedience and a commitment to God's message. He inspires us to boldly confront evil, pray earnestly, and expect miracles in our own lives. As we conclude our exploration of Elijah's life, one thing remains abundantly clear his unshakable belief in the miraculous. 
He reminds us that faith in the Almighty can move mountains, and that we should always expect God's faithfulness even in the face of impossible odds. So, as we wrap up this journey, let Delia's life be a source of encouragement for you to boldly confront the challenges in your own life, to pray honestly, and to expect miracles, just as he did. Allegiancy continues to inspire us, reminding us that with faith, obedience, and a steadfast commitment to God's message, we can overcome any obstacle and weakness, the extraordinary in our own lives.